Hello, my name is Floris de Klerk, NLP and Self-Concept Transformation Coach. Today's topic is all about the power of your imagination. As an artist, it was clear that my imagination was a creation tool. After all, the essence of being an artist is the ability to imagine something and bring it to life in the physical world. We all use our imagination to shape our perceptions and perspectives of our world. Great authors like Napoleon Hill and Neville Goddard placed an enormous emphasis on the power of your imagination. Neville Goddard said, imagination creates reality and that all actions stem from imagination. Albert Einstein said, the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. Einstein also said, imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. So, it's clear how essential your imagination is to the creation process. Think about it. Everything humans created was first imagined. Imagination shapes our world and our dreams. Nothing new can be created without it. An overactive or repressed imagination can lead to confusion and have negative consequences. Hence the importance of a balanced and focused imagination. The most powerful creation tool for humankind is when your imagination is coupled with intent and focus. With this combination, you can dream anything into reality. Think about it. If you don't know what you want in life, it's because you haven't been able to imagine it first. Visualizing what you want, combined with intent and focus, will progress to knowing and achieving what you want. Your imagination is the most powerful tool when changing or reframing your state of mind or self-concept. With your imagination, you can remodel yourself on someone you find inspiring or uplifting, or reframe how you feel about yourself or your present situation. Your belief, coupled with your imagination, can create diseases or heal them. Using your imagination to prime yourself into a specific state, be it hate or love, will align your physiology and your psychology with that perceived state, resulting in illness or health. With the help of your imagination, your physical state can change your psychological state and your psychological condition can change your physical state. Neville Goddard says, to attempt to change circumstances before you change your imaginal activity is to struggle against the very nature of things. There can only be an outer change once there is first an imaginal change. Everything you do unaccompanied by an imaginal change is but a futile readjustment of surfaces. You don't become anything by trying to manipulate physical reality or purely through physical activity. You become what you are through desire and focused imagination. Living your desired truth by living from it sets everything else that needs to happen in motion. Persisting on the assumption that you are already there and living from that state is aligning yourself with that specific outcome. Your imagination is such an excellent and powerful tool for transformation it is energy in motion, and I will show you how to use it to your advantage. To support my channel and learn practical techniques for self-transformation, follow my self-concept and NLP self-help series. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share.